Hola, YouTube. It is November 3rd. Jeez. I've been writing 10 all day. So the wrong month on all my paperwork. <laughs> I saw the physical therapist for the first time my whole life today at 5 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock, but it's really fucking dark outside. Um, oh, my, I'm supposed to be doing these things, you know, the double chin thing. My neck always hurts, but it's been especially hurting for a couple weeks. My whole body pretty much hurts, but in the last couple of months, my right rib cage, shoulder blade, under armpit area has been hurting and feeling really stiff and swollen. Like, I feel like my right rib cage meat is bigger than my left side meat. So, trying to figure out what's going on there. My husband said I could have broke something months ago and didn't even know. I don't know how I would have broke anything since I don't really do anything other than hold the microphone and headbang and stretch and swim and lift weights, you know, all those normal things I do all the time. I haven't done anything extra, but I'm always in a lot of pain. So filling out the physical therapy paperwork, I just feel like an asshole because I know I used to work as a clinic aide in a physical therapy office. And I know what they're looking for. But being on the other end, it's a little harder to answer all the questions very specifically. When I worked at a physical therapy office, I was in great shape. I had you know, some regular pain, but nothing like now, right? Back then I was like 32, 33 years old went to the gym all the time. I still weighed a lot. I've always weighed a lot. I probably weighed like 195, 200 pounds. But I was in great shape. Now, <laughs> fatter. <laughs> like 230 pounds. Uh, and 10 years later, like health issues and like my life has really fucking turned around let's just put it that way <laughs> it's like I've gone from being like this super in shape sexy outgoing energetic person in their 20s and 30s and then the closer I got to 40 that person is like almost God. I don't know where the fuck that person came from or where they went, but Zordia is here now, okay? Zordia's got issues. So I'm filling out the paperwork at the physical therapy office, feeling like an asshole because they're like, where does it hurt? Everywhere. <laughs> like, when did it start? Um, my whole life, you know? Like, um, how often does it happen? Every day, you know? Like, and how bad is it? Really bad, you know? Like, how often does it fluctuate? All the time. You know, all my answers are like super vague. And I know they sound just bitchy but I don't know how to answer it because they're all very truthful. I hear it all the time. 
in a different place, a different day, different pain, you know, different area of my body that I'm focusing on. So I don't know if the physical therapist is going to be able to just do that. I know the massage therapist and the chiropractor can. I know that they just ask me what's going on today and I'm like, damn, today it's right here. Today this hurts. Today this hurts. And they're just like, bam, you know, let's focus on that. But for insurance purposes, I don't know if the physical therapy person can do that. I don't know if they can just focus on that other part when they submitted that they're doing the neck. They can't just go to the foot or the hand unless I do a whole other fucking survey on my hand. It might be kind of a hassle. But I'm there. And I've scheduled two other appointments. Um, it's kind of disappointing because I'm, I'm used to like what the physical therapy office that I worked at was like. And it was um, pretty calm, peaceful, relaxing. And we had traction machines for your back and your neck, like actual machines. Set a timer for leave the room and the machine does all the traction for you. You come back later. Like I just got used to how things ran in there and this is my first time stepping into a physical therapy office that is not the one I used to work at 10 years ago. And I was like instantly annoyed and I, I wanted to turn around and walk out because it was really loud, so fucking bright, like all these super bright, what are those lights? I hate those kind of lights. They're the warehouse type lights, you know? The fluorescent lighting, that's what it is. They're playing like loud ass techno music. There's like three different therapists and maybe six other people doing exercises. There's Mexican people and English people, speaking people. And she's like the person at the front desk is like talking to me through her mask through the glass and I didn't even know she was fucking talking to me she's saying something but I'm hearing everyone else and all the music and I had to ask her wait did you are you talking to me I can't hear you it's really loud in here and before I filled out any paperwork, like this is right after giving her my name and my insurance card, I'm like, is it always this loud in here? I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> and she was like, oh, I'm sorry. Let me come and turn the music down, which she did. And then let me come over there on that side and actually come closer to you and talk to you so you can hear me. And I was like, thank you. But I don't want to be like that bitch that, oh shit, here comes Lordia. Turn off the music, turn off the lights, you know. It's fucking up the party. But that's me. And then I was like, it's really bright in here. <laughs> and she was like, well, they can probably take you to like a private room. And I'm like, yeah, that would be great. And so the physical therapist takes, well, she's like, calls my name, right? And I'm like, it's really bright in here. And she's like, oh, we can take you to the room, right? Because the other girl never told her. Um, and I could tell because everything's wide open. There's like no fucking privacy anywhere. And at the therapy office that I used to work at, we had dimming lights. We could dim it or make it brighter or lower or turn it off. And they didn't have any dimming lights, which I just assumed they did. And she's like, okay, so I can just turn off the light but I have to leave the door open so I can see my paperwork. And I was like, yeah, okay. I mean, you're just gonna do it. Yeah, leave the light off. <laughs> Get a flashlight. Do what you gotta do <laughs> to make me comfortable. I feel like such a needy old bitch. But they, they were nice. I don't know if I'm gonna get, but I, hoping to get from this place to get traction but she had to do it by hand and pump my neck which was awkward <laughs> and she showed me one stretch that I've never done before where you lay down on your stomach and you go like this with a double chin backwards instead of standing up so I'm gonna try that and then she told me to like keep track of the exercises that I do all week. She was going to give me a piece of paper and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to 
give people shit all the time that I know they're not gonna fucking use. It's funny being on the other end. Anyways, I have two more appointments. I'm probably not gonna make any more after that. I don't think I'm gonna get what I thought I was looking for here. Mm -hmm. But I do have an appointment with the rheumatologist tomorrow, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna 